What's good with you gang gang? Hope you guys are doing amazing. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Moon. Froggy chilling. He, he's recovering. <laughs> he's recovering from his... Well, he hasn't been to the surgery yet, but we're still looking for his foot. Um, he's like, oh, no, nah, he's not ashamed, are you, Froggy? <laughs> he's not ashamed. But anyway, that, that's cute I'm even saying that because I pulled a few cards here. I can see there's a message here for somebody in the collective today. Please remember this won't resonate for everyone. You take it resonates if it doesn't, but here's the dealio. Whoever this message is for. I'm picking up on some kind of nightly visits, okay? Someone may be coming to see you. This feels like an ex for some of you. It feels like someone from your past. And for some of you, this could be just about to happen, okay? <clears throat> now, I'm talking to a divine feminine today. So you're coming up as an empress, whether you're male or female. You just attract things, people, opportunities, experiences to you. You attract just creative energy <laughs> you know to you you attract wealth abundance um i'm also getting some of you could be very well off on your own like you know you're basically looking for somebody to enhance your life you know um and i'm seeing that there's someone from your past that is missing you and or they were missing you i feel like for some of you you may have just started talking to this person again you may have just heard from them um, and for others, this could be just about to happen, all right? This person has been thinking about reaching out to you. Uh, <laughs> they've been thinking about <clears throat> what you guys did in the past. They've been reminiscing on memories between you two. Very nostalgic, okay? You bring this person a sense of, like a feeling of home, a feeling of comfort, a feeling of safety. Some of you, it's like you have this um, mama bear kind of love for this person or just this divine love, this unconditional love, and it's just who you are, okay? And I feel like you may have been sensing that this person was going to confess something to you soon, or maybe you'd be getting signs that they were going to come forward and confess to you. But yeah, <clears throat> if they haven't already, um, this person could be about to do that. Now, I'm picking up on a fire sign. There's also Gemini energy out here, so it could be one of these signs that is about to come toward you. Um, Libra, Scorpio, <clears throat> heavy Sagittarius. There's a little bit of, um. I feel like this person, <laughs> they've been doing a lot of growing, okay? And they want a fresh start with you. So this is their intention in coming forward. And I honestly feel like whoever this is for you, you do love this person. You have a lot of genuine love for them but i also get that you have a lot of love for a lot of things and a lot of people like you may just be a lover of life and experience and like the things that you can create in this world or you know what you do for a job for some of you um maybe some of you just love you know beautiful things <laughs> some of you may just love nature and i i really feel like you are someone who really knows how to appreciate the little things in life and yeah, um, it's just, it's just that this confession coming forward from this person, it's an opportunity to, to heal the relationship from whatever happened in the past. So we can look into that in a minute, but if like, I'm getting this vibe where some of you could be seeing this person sometimes in the nighttime, or they're coming to visit you at night, or you're going to visit them at night. This may be in the future. So take the timeline, just ride with me on the timeline here. Um, but this person's coming in with an offer, like a proposal here. <clears throat> they they want to commit to you. Um, now, <laughs> you know, you also might have thought this person had moved on, but they haven't. It's like they actually haven't ever stopped thinking about you. I'm hearing not a day has gone by where this person hasn't thought about you and thought about giving you an offer, giving like giving you an invitation to go out somewhere. Um, I am getting that this person you're dealing with in the past or even right now, there's, there's something to do with them being a little bit in their ego where they may really hide their, their vulnerable side or their true self behind um, like money or material things. So the thing is, whoever this individual is, okay, they they like to show off 
in one way or another. They like to show off and they want to show off to you. And I think that they want to show off with whatever like date they want to take you on, whatever offer they want to give you. Or, you know, this person may profess their love in a poem or write a beautiful message to you, um, could call you up. And I'm getting like for some of you, this has already happened to and you're sort of seeing this person on a regular basis or here and there. Um, but I'm getting, this is actually a good reading because you, you're you actually in sync with this person, but this is what you do need to know, okay? Um, you don't, you don't need this person, okay? It's like you want this person or you want to give this person some form of love, okay? Because you have it and your cup is literally overflowing. <laughs> like you are just the epitome Epitome, I don't know what that is, what word, what's that word mean? Let me Google it. A personal thing that is a perfect example, yeah. You are the epitome of self-love, you know, unconditional love. That's what I'm getting about you. And I see that there's going to be, you know, you guys are really working things out. I'm just going to talk like it's present tense, but this could be happening in a timeline form, okay? So... Yeah, I'm seeing you guys working things out together, you know, having a conversation, maybe having some, um, I don't know, maybe someone's turned into a pretzel, somebody's legs is behind the other person's head. There's something going on here, you know, you could be, you could be intimate with this person, but, um, yeah, I'm just getting, it's like, it's like you coming together to, and working together as a team to help this partnership survive, to help this relationship survive. And I'm just seeing, like say there was passion that died. I honestly, it doesn't feel like like the attraction ever died between you and this person, but um, let, let's see, like what, what was the breakdown for? Yeah, so I don't think it was attraction. I think it was... It looks here to, like it was somebody who was moving in a very mischievous way. Someone could have been holding on, you know, holding on to information, holding on to lies. You know, someone could have been hesitating in the past. And the thing is, whoever you are, like you really, really know your worth. And I feel as if this person played some kind of game with you, but it ended up getting them hurt. It ended up with them losing their opportunity with you. Um, they may have lied to you and you may have found out. This person also may have stolen money from you for some of you. Um, because like I am picking up a very wealthy energy of whoever I'm picking up on. So, you know, th this could be your energy field that's just very wealthy, um, very abundant. You, you could be someone who's meant to be very wealthy and abundant or some of you very much so are, right? You could live a very um, luxurious lifestyle or, yeah, like that's the vibe. And... Yeah, this person may have tried to dip into your savings or try to steal from your from your bank account or something like that for some of you. Like what? But it's it's weird because <clears throat> or take that heart resonates, okay? Because this person might have been tapping into your your spiritual bank account, you know, like your your energetic bank account. Because your energy is currency. Whoever I'm reading for, your energy is currency. You literally attract everything you want to you. Um, it doesn't mean that you don't, you know, have like like to do things, but it's just a really, really beautiful energy that you're in and you know your worth, okay? This person knows that you know your worth and they also know that since, since what they've, since this person did whatever they did to lose access to you or to, you know, for some of you, it might not have been this big deal, right? It could have just been you not replying to them, you kind of losing interest, you might have gone off with someone else. And I'm telling you, like this person, their heart has been broken. Like it ain't been the same. It's kind of like they feel like you're the only one who can mend it and put it back together. <laughs> um, and there's a very strong bond here, despite you being far out of this person's league from what I can see, because they coming up as the Knight of Wands, you're coming up as the Empress. But this person is like, their ability to show off or hide behind money or, you know, maybe um, like this person may like, you know, material things and they could be really attracted to you because of that.
but it doesn't have to be that. Um, but I'm seeing this person has tried to show off, um, but they're nowhere near like in the position that you're in. You know, <laughs> I mean, they they could be using somebody else's money. Um, they could be, yeah, like it's like they could get handouts from other people or or something like that. Like that's wild. But I tell you what, it doesn't matter where this person's getting money from or whatever they're doing to to show off to people. They cannot stop thinking about this connection with you. Okay, this person feels an undeniable bond with you. That, like I'm saying, every day since whatever happened between you two, this person has been thinking about you. And I'm seeing this is actually going to be a really positive thing um, for some of you when this person reaches out or like when you have this conversation. Some of you, if you've been seeing this person, it is, it's like it's going in a good direction, you know. There's there's progress happening. Um, but at the same time, I do want to see... <laughs> what this person's intentions are with you because I do know that they want to reach out to you and you know get back together wow you are this person's dream person okay if they haven't told you I'm telling you right now like you are everything they could dream of and more but there's a part of them that is really cold-hearted whoever you're dealing with there's a part of them like i'm hearing like a little bit sinister like they could just switch up and you know it might even feel like in the past you thought you knew this person but then you're like wait nah that's like a whole nother <laughs> like say their name's lena it was like you met this you met lucy <laughs> like i don't know say their names um let's just say Jordan and you met Gordon you know what I mean like well you got to see this other version of this person like you know how some people have um like different names for themselves <laughs> I've heard people make jokes about it they talk about when they you know go out in the town or get drunk and and they'll be like oh I have a, a drunk name you know <laughs> because it's obviously your inhibitions are down your brain isn't functioning the same and you do different things that you wouldn't normally do. So whoever you're dealing with, um, this person they have, let's just say they're not perfect, okay? And fuck it, who's perfect, gang? I'm not perfect, you're not perfect, no, nothing's perfect. But I'll tell you what, whoever I'm reading for today, you're pretty damn close to perfect, baby. Like, <laughs> you're pretty damn close to perfect because, like, your life, is it's the way that your energy is set up it's the way that your life is set up um why wouldn't this person want to come and approach you why wouldn't this person want to profess their love to you <laughs> like you put out so much love even if you, you some of you could be mothers as well but you put out so much love it's just it's only natural it's only universal law for it to come back to you right so i'm seeing this person could be bringing you flowers um but yeah, they're really wanting to air things out. They're really wanting to nut things out between you two. Um, and how are they planning on doing that? Right? They really want to talk about how they were scared to... It's like, it's like they tried to bite you off, okay? So if this person didn't steal from you, like, physical items or money or, you know, too much energy, they could... You, they could have really wasted your time because um, I see you're attracted to them, right? This feels like this is a, an experience for whoever I'm reading for. Like, <laughs> like this person, they could nearly, they could give you a mere experience. I don't really know if they'd be able to help you expand in your life. If anything, you would, you would be bringing them the energy of expansion into their life. Um, you know, I, I feel like the person you're dealing with, they they may have uh, like loyalty issues as well, but they were in denial in the past and they're going to admit this to you, okay? One way or another, through their actions or through their words, they're going to show you that they were in denial, okay? And that they were sorry. They're sorry for sabotaging the connection. They were really scared to admit their true feelings to you in the past, but they cannot forget you. I will never forget you. You will always be by my side from the day that I met you. Gang, I knew that I would till the day I die. Gang, and they will never let this far. 
Cause in their heart they will always be sure They will never forget you You might have told this motherfucker that Or you might have thought that They're never gonna forget you <laughs> You will always be by my side Till the day I die I'm telling you, like, even though you've been at a distance from this person, they feel like you're standing right next to them. They feel like they're waking up next to you. They feel like you're sitting down at dinner with them. Like, they feel your energy around them all the time. And it's because however this person did hurt you or whatever they did to, like, waste your time, run game on you, lie, whatever this was, like, if they stole, if they just didn't want, if they were just holding their true feelings back and that was, like, you know, that was a form of deception, you know, like this person could have been hesitating a lot when it comes to their feelings. Um, I forgot what I was saying now. Anyway. But yeah, <clears throat> like that's the geo. They, they can't fight it anymore, okay? This person cannot fight their feelings for you. They can't, they can't deny the love that they have for you, the love that they felt when they were with you, the love that they feel around them, even like the presence that they feel around them. Yeah, I'm telling you. Now, you know, for some of you, if you if this person hasn't reached out, they are admiring you from afar, okay? They could be watching your social media, um, just trying to stay really quiet, stay kind of in the background, you know, to see the waters, test the waters, see where you at, when they should come in, right? If you're seeing anybody else. But, <clears throat> yeah, I'm getting, yeah, we need to find out this person's intentions. Well, look, their intention is to end up with you, okay? They they feel like you guys are compatible. And I can tell you, compatibility-wise, like, I feel like the Empress, she's, you, whether you're male or female, you're someone that could be compatible with just, I feel like a lot of people would feel like you're perfect for them. But when it comes to them being perfect for you, that's a different story, right? <laughs> um... But yeah, this person, like, in the past, they did something really cold-hearted to you, maybe were really mean-spirited or just really guarded, okay? They really tried to protect their feelings. They really tried to hide their feelings. But like I'm saying, there hasn't been a day go by where they can't, like, not look you up or search you up, even if they got options open, okay? Even if this person has been playing the field, um, it's like they haven't found anyone that they want to settle down with. Right, they've wanted to keep their options open and all this, but look at this. They, they've been out there playing the field. Now they come back because they can't forget you. Okay, so yeah, this person's coming back. They come back. You take it how it resonates. So I want to see kind of where this is going. From the cards, it looks like it's giving me... It looks like, you know, this person has good intentions towards you. I think it's just that they need to spend some time. 18, 18 could be significant. But they need to spend some time kind of reflecting on why they were so hesitant. Um, but really, you know, you can't force them to do that. It's just like this, this person, something in their heart chakra was just turned off until they met you. And you activated their heart chakra with the frequency that you emit. Like literally, the vibrational frequency that you're vibrating at, it's love. And that's higher than, I'm telling you, like that's higher than most people's energy field. And yeah, I'm getting, this person is kind of hyper-focused on you right now. Or when they do come in, they're going to be very hyper-focused on you. So they could be trying to come in and give you, you know, the best smacks of your life. They could be coming in, trying to take you out, give you the biggest bouquet of flowers, <laughs> um, write you like a, write you the sweetest things, you know, like little love letters, or write you a song, something like that, you know, like that's what I'm getting, and it's all, it's all to apologize, you know, all to apologize, admitting a mistake, okay, they may want to sing you a song, let me see how confident this person is in, in how they feel about treating you. Oh, this person just wants a commitment with you so bad. Oh my God. They want it with you so bad. But at the same time, they do feel like, 
you know, this is what I mean. When it comes to this person's internal world, right, in their subconscious realms, there is a part of them that is potentially secretly slightly depressed. And there's things that they're disappointed in themselves about. There's disappoint there's things that they're just disappointed in, in life in general, right? This person, they may have a tendency to look at things, you know, look at the negative of things instead of the positive and it's just really about their, you know, their perspective. But it's weird because like all they really think about now is just that they want to commit to you. They may even want to marry you, right? They may want to move really fast with you. Um, but you do have to kind of be a little bit careful because this person, the question is, are they really missing you or are they, are they missing or they feel like they lost an opportunity with someone that is really, really wealthy? Like, and I mean, when I say wealthy, I mean, you could be really spiritually wealthy. You could have a lot of money. Um, you know, you can offer a life to this person that I don't feel like they've been able to find elsewhere. You can offer a love to this person that they can't find elsewhere. And that's why, you know, you're the best option to them. And, but yeah, I guess they like, they miss wherever, you, whatever you did for them in the past. <laughs> or whatever you were helping them with. Like, you let me know, tribe, if this is resonating. But here's the thing, you know, you... You are someone who, yeah. Like, see how that says financial freedom and luxury? This is what I feel. And you could have been getting signs from the universe that this person is about to come back or that they were going to come back. Um, right? And they have because it's like they've been trying to heal from something. Like, they've been trying to heal from their trust issues. And I just feel like you've been... You accepted whatever this person did to push you away, to, you know, to take from you. You accepted it, moved on, you know, left them with love is what it feels like. And they've never gotten over it. No, this person has been waiting for you to contact them. They've been waiting for you to come around. They've been hoping that you'd come around. They may have even got in another relationship or started seeing other people just waiting for you, like waiting for you to come around and waiting for you to hit their phone up and message them or, or call them or something like that. Like, I cannot make it up. This person's been waiting for you to contact them and it's like, because you just, you got it going on, got it going on. When the pips in the crib, Mark, drop it like it's hot, drop it like it's hot. <laughs> I don't know why I just said that, but maybe some of you have been just having fun, living your life, dropping it like it's hard, shaking a boot, dang man, shaking a tail feather, man. Like, ladies, queens, kings, you've been living your best life, okay? <laughs> some of you maybe haven't even been thinking about this person, but they back in, okay? For some of you, they're going to be coming in, they're going to be wanting to see you at night time if you aren't seeing them already, okay? If some of you are seeing them... Um, this is all you just kind of need to be aware of. You know, you are your own person. You make your own decisions for yourself. But I think I'm simply here to be a um, reflection or projection from your own subconscious mind <laughs> to help you see clearly why this person is coming around and to just remind you that if you felt like you were out of this person's league, you are, okay? There's, like, what can this person offer collective outside of a, like, they just want a commitment with you because they know that you can give them this, this safe life. You know, this person, I think that if you if you let them back in, okay, like you may be having fun with this person or I don't know, there's just something going on here. It's I'm hearing it's not like your usual type as well. Um, and I'm getting it's something to do with their character okay this person's character isn't the normal type of character you would go for but they have a charm to them okay or a sophistication to them that you are quite attracted to but don't get it mixed up like this is what i'm saying don't get it mixed up because you are all of that and more you know whatever you see and admire in this person is just simply what you love about yourself and your own life as well and yeah, I'm just getting this person, they could really fall back into, you know, their, their old ways of being, becoming really avoidant. Um, you know, even after this apology, say they win you over and they end up back with you. 
Um, I'm just seeing that they, they do, there's the potential for this person to just start detaching again. Okay, so that's really what your angels want you to know today. They could start detaching, right? It's like they're going to manifest you and then just detach from you once they feel that love again, right? Because your love actually scares this person. And though they can't find any love like you, they, they want to be around you. Okay, so your angels are bringing this message forward today for somebody to help you make, make a wise decision. Make the decision that's best for you, you know. Don't play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it, gang. Okay? <laughs> it's like I'm telling you, because it might be really hard, especially if some of you have already, you know, got something going on here with this person in the night time. Night time. Day time. I'm a little bit weird. <laughs> and guess what? I'm not planning on changing anytime soon, so. If you're still with me, gang, that means this message is resonating. Okay, a new person could be coming in for you if this is your message, right? You, it feels like you are single. See, I just touched my nose. You have a new person coming in. So this is why the angels are bringing this in. They're saying, you know, they're trying to help you make a wise decision, make a plan here for yourself, whether you're involved with them intimately right now or whether they're about to come in and get it, get it all hot and spicy and all this, right? Just listen to your gut. Okay, because yeah, this person may feel like you're the perfect person for them and all that, but you have to literally consider what is compatible with you and if this person is going to enhance your life or not. And I know that you're really good at figuring that stuff out based on the energy you're coming up with. But here's the thing, you have somebody new coming into your energy, okay, on top of that. So someone, they're saying this person is coming in slowly, it may be someone, yeah, look, this is another option, right? You've got another option coming in. Someone you haven't met before, this is someone you're going to meet out of the blue, okay? Oddly enough, you may meet this person at a traffic light. Oddly enough, this may have something to do with a vehicle, a car shop, um, um, maybe somebody sees you down the street, like this is really weird, but if there's a vehicle, a car could be involved, right? Or this person could come and pick you up in the car, or you might be attracted to their car, or yeah like conversations could come up about cars with this option this new person coming in right and i'm telling you if, if you don't listen to your gut now there's gonna be so there's gonna be a bit of um let's just say trouble in the air you know what i mean there's gonna be a bit of mischief in the air and competitive energy going on here because look you are a prize to be won okay you are a prize to be won you are a prize to be um respected not neglected man you, like seriously and yeah some of the angels are coming through today to let them know that if you do walk away from you know this person from the past once they come back in and you guys sort all this stuff out if you do choose to you know it doesn't it doesn't affect your worth or anything but like just choose the thing that's wisest for you because even if you do keep this person around, you're still, there's someone here that's contracted to come into your life. This is, they're telling me this is exactly how it is. So you can sense someone new coming and usually what do those exes do? Their, their ex radar goes off and they can sense that, that new energy coming in, right? They can sense what's being woven in the etheric realms. <laughs> Believe me. And they come running back. Hang on, hang on. Wait. They don't love you like I love you. Wait. They don't love you like I love you. <laughs> yeah, they do that. They're notorious for that. Right? So even if you keep this person around, you're going to see there's, there's just going to be competitive energy going on. If you like people fighting over you, well, get ready for that. If you don't like that and you don't want people competing and you want to keep your options open, get prepared because there's someone new coming in. So all I'm saying is you can work on this connection with this person, but sticking around for what they want because they're going to try to push a commitment with you okay this is your warning don't get in the commitment with them okay the past is in the past for a reason we learn this don't we gang we learn this through life um but sometimes the past comes around to remind us how far we've come and what would happen if we didn't change and what would happen if we didn't know our worth um so yeah you can work on it with this person because i feel like at some point you were really devoted to them really committed to them um you know, but at some point you may have to be very clear with them that, you know, it's not going to be 
a commitment, um, a higher commitment. Uh, and if that means walking away or, you know, if you can't sustain the friendship because of their feelings for you, then, you know, this is your heads up. Because you may find yourself a little bit stuck when this, when this person comes in, right? Like your heart, like your gut is going to tell you, okay, like we can't be together. Your heart's going to tell you like, yeah, you want to be with this person, even your mind. But like your heart is also going to tell you something, someone new is on the way. Wait, they don't love you like I love you. Wait. <laughs> yeah, no, look, I'll give you the clarity you need right now. Once you leave, don't go back, okay? The clarity you need is that, yes, this person thrives off illusions and fooling people, okay? They're going to want this commitment with you and they're going to have this perfect apology for you. But you just got to know they are going to wear a mask, okay? You know, they've already ripped the mask off in front of you before in the past. So <laughs> listen to your intuition. Do you see that, gang? Listen to your intuition because this person has you on the highest pedestal, which is exactly where you belong. Somebody in this energy, I'm telling you, you are so beautiful. You are so beautiful inside and out. Okay, it's about the time this person realized your worth anyways. So it feels like. And um, yeah, you may not have tangible proof that this person is not going to be for you or whatever, but your intuition is going to tell you, your body is going to tell you. Tr trust in like the new person is coming in. Can you get any more information on this new person coming in? I can't stop seeing. Wait, they don't love you like I love you. They're saying, you know what they're showing me here? Oh, yeah, it's because for some of you, look, there, there's someone that's assigned to you on a soul level that's going to be coming in. And it's like they don't want to talk too much about the new person until you've sorted this out with this, this person from the past or this person that's in your energy <laughs> right now. Okay, and it's happening right now for some of you. This situation is playing out right now. For some of you, um, you know, the truth is going to come towards you, you know, how this person really feels and and uh, yeah, and then your new person that does end up coming in, once this is sorted, it, you know, if you don't sort it, this new person is still coming, okay? They could be a Leo, Scorpio, Libra, Capricorn that could be coming in. Doesn't have to be though, but they are the signs that are here. Um, when this person does come in, they're going to challenge you in, in really good ways, okay? They really are. They're going to kind of come in very determined to be with you, be around you. Um, I'm hearing like, you know, like quick, quick replies, and this is someone you'll have a lot of trust with. And they're very, they're going to be very fearless in their expression of their feelings towards you. And I'm seeing a lot of passion. Okay. So your love life is changing. Okay. And even if you keep this, this person from the past around, this new person is going to come in anyway, because you're contracted with them. It's just going to create conflict between everyone. So just be aware of that, you know, move accordingly, move whatever brings you peace. But you got your heads up now. I feel like my work is done. <laughs> I love you so much, gang. Let me know if it resonated, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace to the cosmic chat.